we're back in uh, Target and I had somebody uh, ask me if I would come to uh, straighten the candy section and show you some of the candy in a store. So I figured while I'm in Target we could maybe do that. Now we have looked at this section before. You know, last time I was in Walmart I think we um, looked at the gum and stuff. But uh, see, it's part of the candy aisle. You know, you have you have your gum. Like all of this is is uh, gum. Like we have these cartons. This is double bubble, and these are um, like you would put in a, a little bubble gum machine. It's just a little carton of. It's a 12 ounce carton of gumballs. I'll bring those down. And this one. Uh oh. Well, somebody got way too excited with this packet. I don't even understand. It looks like somebody tore it open and then, like, didn't even get any out. So I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to set it right there. And that way, um, an employee hopefully will spot that and can address the issue. Now you you can get you can get ice and. Uh, ice cubes. I almost said ice cream. You can get gum in these little cups and they're called car cups because it will fit in your cup holder in your car. Let's bring those down. And one more from back here. And then there is, you have these three packs of gum like extra. This is spearmint. But you see uh, a lot of times this happens where it will tear right there. And see, obviously, it's not its not going to hang anymore like that. So, I'm just actually going to set that right there like that. And I'm just going to kind of slide these forward a little bit. See, we have extra polar ice, spearmint. This is my favorite, mint chocolate chip. They discontinued it for several years, and they've only recently brought it back. But it made me extremely happy to see that. They are uh, $2.29 in here. They're usually a little bit cheaper at Walmart. So that's where I get it. Oh, this one is on clearance. This is Smooth Mint. I've never tried that. Looks like, um, I don't know if they're discontinuing this particular flavor or if Target's just not going to carry it anymore. I don't know. We have Orbit, which is another brand of gum. I'm not a big gum chewer. I try to limit myself to one piece a day. Um, I don't like to be around people when they're chewing gum because I have I have misophonia and I can't tolerate the sound of people who make noise when they chew. So I just excuse myself. I have a hundred different ways to get away from people who are making noise when they chew. I've been doing it since I was a kid. Here's another example. They really should reinforce these or they don't tear so easily. I mean, that's just, that's a bummer because then there's really nowhere to put it except up there. And then we have double bubble. Now this stuff has been around forever. You get these little pieces of gum and the, the flavor is great for about three seconds and then it's it's gone and it just tastes like you're chewing on nothing. So, kind of a rip off. <laughs> Here's a three pack variety of uh, Starburst Juicy Fruit. That's on clearance too. Okay. So, you have these packages of Double Bubble. Then we have Juicy Fruit. What does this look like? Mixies gum, juicy fruit. And you can kind of see what they look like in there a little bit. And that's another car cup. Oh, birthday cake flavor, gourmet gum. Ooh, I'm gonna take that home with me. Get one of those. That looks yummy. And Orbit Bubble Mint is pretty good. I've I've tried that. I like bubble gum flavor. I'm not big on just the plain mint flavored gum. It just tastes like being at church with my grandmother as a child. Now this isn't candy at all. This is um, this is a little wooden train that someone has just left over here. 
There's a kid over there that sounds like he's falling down a well or something. And he's still falling, I hear it. Um, he can hold a note pretty well. I'm gonna stick that up there. I know that's not really good, but I don't know where else to put it. Ooh, extra chewy mints. Icebreakers mints. Lifesavers mints. In wintergreen flavor. Altoids. Dentine fire. They even have Tic Tac gum and ice. Just kind of bringing it forward a little bit. And then we have, oops. They even have orange flavored mints. Minty orange. I've never tried that. Starburst. These are the original Starbursts. You can get giant bags of those. And look at these Jelly Belly. Jelly beans. Wow. And high chew, baby bottle pop, lollipops, Jolly Rancher candies, Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish. Somebody asked me what Swedish Fish are. They're little red. They look like little red fish, like you can see. And they're just chewy. They're kind of like little gummies. And they're okay. They, honestly, I never thought they had much flavor. This, this is a depressed bag. Look, it, it's trying to go over the edge. Like, <laughs> get, get back there. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Stay. And look at the variety of Skittles. We have lots of Skittles here. You don't go there. These are Smarties. These go down here. Smarties are good. They're little rolls of these little candies. And they're kind of tart, but mostly sweet. They're wonderful. Here's a small bag of Sour Patch Kids. And they're just sour, sugar-coated gummies. More of the winter green mint. And they're just, they're just kind of flung up in here willy-nilly, like, who gives a crap? But let's look at the Skittles. What are these? Oh, God. My younger son loves these. These are Sweet Heat Skittles. They are fruity flavored and spicy. I think they're disgusting, but he loves them. And then they have Bright Side Skittles. I'm not really sure what these are supposed to taste like. Let's see. Watermelon, Paradise Punch, Tangerine, Pink Lemonade, and Kiwi Banana. That doesn't sound too bad. That sounds pretty good. And then you have the original Skittles, which are, those are good. They're cherry, grape, lime, orange, lemon, flavors like that. <gasps> Then we have smaller bags of Jolly Rancher hard candy and filled pops. And these have a resealable thing on them, which is cool. So you can, like a little Ziploc, so you can open it and have some and then zip it up and keep them, keep them from going stale or whatever. Or keep the ants out of them or something. And then we have Twizzlers, which are fantastic. This is the strawberry flavor. I'm going to stick that there and make it look nice and neat. And we also have, we have the Twizzlers brand, and we have Red Vines, which I have to admit, I don't think I've ever tried these. And we have the smaller packages of Red Vines, too. We even have organic gummy worms, gummy bears. So if you're feeling, you will feel real proud of yourself, you can eat the organic ones. you can eat the whole bag because it'll be all right as long as they're organics like you know oh it's fat free that means we can eat more <laughs> okay Ooh, starburst these are little tiny starbursts and they're not wrapped now if you look at regular starburst candy let me see if I can find some and come back here regular starburst and you can't really see into the bag but regular starburst candies are wrapped individually and they're wrapped in a wrapper that is the color of whatever flavor it is. But these minis apparently are not wrapped at all. You just take them out and shove them in your mouth. Oh, they even have Starburst gummies. 
and they're sour. I've, I've never seen these before. And they're on clearance, so I guess if you want them, you gotta grab them. These are the original, and these are favorites. Watermelon, cherry, strawberry, and fruit punch flavors. And then these are all the original flavors, which are cherry, orange, strawberry, and lemon. And here's some more of the sours. Sour Punch Bites. Sour Punch Bites Raging Reds. Airhead Bites. You know, I just can't figure out why every other person in the United States has diabetes. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Gummy worms, peach rings, red fish, it's like knockoff Swedish fish, Check. gummy bears, oh, it's noisy, all right, cinnamon bears, the Harbo, don't make fun of the way I say that, star mix, which I've never seen that. Hmm. We have the gold bears down here too. That's a giant bag. That's a three pound bag of those things. We have fruit chews from Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Pops. Oh my God, okay. Oh, we haven't even gotten to this stuff yet. <laughs> There's more. Now this is more of the chocolate uh, candy over here. You have Rolo, which I love Rolo. Rolos are awesome. They're chewy caramels and milk chocolate, and they are so good. I love them. I would eat that whole bag. Let's see. I'm going to bring some of these forward. It's kind of hard to do one-handed because you see how they flop over. I'm just going to bring them up a little bit. They're on sale. Three for ten. Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch Triple Chocolate. Layer Crunch with Caramel. I'm sorry these bags are so crackly if that bothers you. See, it's not a lot I can do about it. This is a 100 piece bag. It weighs two and a half pounds. We have Nestle's Butterfinger, which those are great. Nestle's Crunch, Baby Ruth, Nestle Chocolate. And it's all mixed up in here for $10.49. Over here we have snacking chocolate. We looked at these before and it looks like these are all on clearance. Looks like they're doing away with all of this stuff. Brickside, whole almonds and dark chocolate. These are not on clearance, but the vineyard inspired Chardonnay grape and peach flavors are. Pomegranate. Oh my goodness, these look wonderful. I haven't had dinner yet. This y'all don't know how much of a challenge this is when I'm hungry. I don't think that actually goes here. Where does this go? Um, I don't know where it goes. I don't see it. There's a long Toblerone, too. It's like, you don't belong over here, either. Let's put him up here in purgatory with the train. Just y'all can be weird up there together. Keep each other company. We have little bags, little snack bags of all sizes. Look at this adorable... Look at this adorable little bag of peanut M&Ms. Five and a half ounces. And it also has a resealable zipper, so it won't go stale or whatever for $1.99. Or you can get the five and a half ounce bag of the plain M&Ms. I like these better. We have chocolate covered pretzels. And we also have cookies and cream crunchers, which is like little clusters of stuff. I don't even know what's in there. Kit Kats are wonderful too. They're little wafers with layers of fudge stuff and then it's coated in chocolate and they're awesome. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Minis. These are good. Love these very much. Here's a Reese's Snack Mix that's on clearance. Looks like it has the little Reese's Cups, Reese's Pieces, Peanuts. Cool. I've never seen that either. They even have Reese's mini sticks. It's like they took the idea of a Kit Kat and used it on a Reese's cup. York peppermint patties. Here are the Kit Kat minis with the white chocolate, which I don't, I don't really care for those. I like them with the plain chocolate. Then we have Twix unwrapped bites. These are really good. These, it's a little cookie with caramel and then it's coated in chocolate. It's fantastic. 
And here we have Market Pantry, which is one of Target's brands. And these are just plain old chocolate covered peanuts, which I like those too. It's a very simple little snack. And it's stubborn as I'll get out. I can't get it to. It's, it's like, no, screw you. It's, it's late in the week. I'm not standing up. Here we have Belgian chocolate thins. Ooh, it's like somebody took a um, a Pringle and coated it in chocolate. Huh, okay. Well, I don't know. Oh, and here we have disgusting chocolate covered raisins. I don't like chocolate covered raisins, that's gross. Look at all the variety, look at all the M&Ms here. You see, all the, you see how all the bags are different colors? That means they're different types of M&Ms like we have. These are this orange bag. These are the peanut butter M&Ms. And then the yellow ones are just the peanut M&Ms. Oh, and here they have the red, white, and blue mix of peanut M&Ms. And we also have the red, white, and blue regular M&Ms too. And down here we have the caramel M&Ms. And is anybody freaked out that they're pulling one of their own apart right here? Like, look at that. It's like they took one of their own people and, and pulled them apart. And look how happy they are about it. They're celebrating what they're doing. They're basically drawing and quartering somebody and they're tickled to death. You can also get dark chocolate M&Ms, almond M&Ms, crispy M&Ms, pretzel M&Ms. Basically, anything you want wrapped in chocolate and candy coated, you can get. Here we have the the Reese's Miniature Cups with white chocolate, which I don't, I don't really like those either. It's kind of yucky. This doesn't even belong over here, but again, I don't think there's a spot for this these little bags like this. So into purgatory you go. Here we have the Reese's and Kit Kat Miniatures assortment. These bags are big and heavy. I'm going to try to pull it into position. We have all different kinds of assortments. This one has Kit Kat, York Peppermint Patties, and Heath, which is chocolate covered toffee. Family bag of Hershey's Kisses. And these are Hershey's Kisses with almonds, and these are just plain chocolate. So these are the original Reese's miniature cups. Giant bag of Hershey's Kisses, Kit Kats, Hershey's Nuggets assortment, which has extra creamy milk chocolate with toffee and almonds, milk chocolate, milk chocolate with almonds, and special dark, mild, special dark, mildly sweet chocolate with almonds. And then these are smaller bags that don't really set up very, they don't sit, they don't sit up too well. You see they're, they're all inebriated and it's just like, nah, I don't think so. They're all giving me the finger. Fine. We have Andes, which is chocolate covered minty stuff. Twix goes over here. There's a spot for Russell Stover, but there's nothing in it. Peanut butter Snickers. Snickers are good. That's a pretty standard thing. It's uh, nougat with um, caramel and peanuts and coated in chocolate. Quite yummy. They also have peanut butter squared. And Milky Way is good. That's just chocolate. That's nougat, caramel, and chocolate. No peanuts. Payday is a peanut caramel bar. And here we have more Kit Kats. What's this back here? This is the Hershey's Miniatures Classic Bag. They have Mr. Good Bar, Crackle, Hershey's Chocolate Bars. It's a good mix. I like all of those. I love the chocolate in the Mr. Good Bar bars. There's something different about it. It just tastes different. I like it. All right, cool. There. 
So, all right. These are just little grab and go bags. I mean, we already looked at these. I'm just pulling them up a little bit more. And there's that. And I think, honestly, I think that's about it. Um, it looks a little better. There's a tissue on the floor. I'm not touching that. Giant, look at that giant bag of M&M's. Lord, it's heavy. Two pounds, 10 ounces of M&M's. My God. Ugh, it's ridiculous. Okay. So, and then it's really cool because right here, <laughs> you can get toothbrushes. So once you rot all your teeth out with all that chocolate, you can try to save them with some toothbrushes and some floss. <laughs> That's a nice little suggestive selling thing there. That's pretty cool. Here we have, okay, this is on the end cap right quick. These are, um, of course, red, white, and blue because we have Memorial Day coming up this weekend, which is when we celebrate our past heroes who have fallen. And I do have quite a few of those in my family. I have a lot of veterans in my family and people who served in the military. And we honor them on Memorial Day weekend, the ones who have passed on in service. These, I don't know where those keep coming from. I mean, who picks them up somewhere else and then walks all the way over here? They even have red, white, and blue gummy bears. That's pretty cool. And we have the American Mix Skittles. So, and then you come over here. Oh, here's some... God, the candy keeps going. Look, there's more. I didn't even know this was over here. We have we have dark chocolate and some free range children. Rainbow nerds. These came from over here. Yeah, they came from over here. Now y'all note there are children over here being loud and I have not said one word about it. I want, I want an award for that because I got fussed at last time I said something about a child. Okay, we have these little, here's the Tobler on. Let me go back and get the, uh, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. That is massive. Look, ooh. Ooh, God, okay. Let me go back and get that candy. Now, I don't know if I can find a home for all of it, but I know I can for this, and maybe I can for these. Perhaps. Yay, look, there are the Reese's Minis. There's their home. What about the Tuckler on right there? Look what I did. Look what I did. Here's a tiny little thing of napkins. God. Ten napkins. I don't know where the heck that came from. That's that's like some of the stuff from up front. And then you can get little candy bars like this. Whoppers, junior mints. A bag of Twizzlers and red vines again. Mike and Ike's. I've never been a big fan of Mike and Ike. They're these chewy little flavored candies. I just I don't know. I've never really liked them all that much. Milk duds are good. That's chocolate coated uh, caramel and it's really yummy. Junior mints, if you ever watched Seinfeld, there was an episode where they talked about a junior mint. <laughs> um, so that, okay, that little bit here is about all the candy that we have. Girardelli, Girardelli, that right there. Where did this come from? Dark chocolate sea salt, cashews. I don't actually see it, so I'll just leave you there. Okay. So anyway, we had a we had an opportunity to do a little bit of cleaning up, a little bit of looking around at some of the the candies and the chocolates that they have here at Target. Uh, and there's more than I thought. I thought it was just that one aisle, but then we have all this over here, and we have these things. Y'all might recognize those. And so we, we took a look at everything. Mm -hmm. I found something cool. He found something cool, so I'm gonna go look and see what he found. Okay. It's only five dollars. Uh, I mean um four ninety nine. Oh that makes a big difference. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you again soon.